Did you know the brain stuff? Yes. Well, this is exactly oh. like this. <laughs> <laughs> you had to, you know, you had to pull the needle in the brain. Yeah, oh, that is horrible oh, as well. Good. That was awesome. I love the game. I do too. It's a dog. Sorry, okay. we're going to just talk about so video games. So I'm, I'm sitting here with Sarah and she's doing a scene from The Evil Within. Um, no, I'm not. She's doing no. needles in a brain. No, why do you have that? What is that? This is my, my wool that I'm yeah, knitting with. But what are you knitting? A ball of wool. You're knitting a ball of wool out of a ball of wool. It's, it's like Inception, but with wool. It's <laughs> in wool-ship. Wool Woolception. Woolception. <laughs> also, Sarah. <laughs> So this is Sarah, and she's a community manager for a Little Big Planet 3. I am, and I'm quite mad apparently. <laughs> You're quite mad, that's what I've seen with this wool. Can I just put it down? So, <laughs> hi Sarah, I'm Peter hi. from Gamersnet, which is a website for all of it. Hi Gamersnet. Uh, yes. So, <laughs> so how long have you been a community manager for Little Big Planet franchise? Um, a little over two years now. Really? So you're c kind of a newbie? I'm kind of a newbie. So, so how do you become a community manager? I mean, if you're a gamer, gamers are watching, I would say you'd like, I wouldn't say the easiest, but the... No, 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 the easiest, not the easiest, Sarah, no, but the most, you know, accessible job in the gaming industry would be a tester or something with the community. It's probably not true, but you're going to tell me that now. How did you become a community manager? Um, I've been a community manager for about eight years in video games Did now. you study community management? I studied English and history. Really? <laughs> Well, that's what I meant. You didn't need to do any code to become an No, I've just been playing games since I was a little child and um, I always really, really was passionate about being involved with game development and also being able to help people who are passionate about games have a say and be heard, which is yeah. kind of how I forced my way into the industry. <laughs> so you're like the, the bridge between gamers and developers, I guess. Yeah, I like to think of it that way. Yeah. I think it's important, especially with games like Little Big Planet, that the community are able to feedback and be involved in a game that is so heavily designed around them being able to do what they want. Yeah. So this is your first community job. Can you tell me what your last job was? No, I worked on um, Batman on the Arkham games. <laughs> Screw Little Planet. I want to talk about Batman. You were community met for the Arkham games. Yes. Did you do the presentation on the on E3 for Arkham um, the second one? No, I did first look in Sweden. Oh, you did? Okay. Well, you look like I was E3 at um, Little Big Planet. Okay, awesome. Well, good. Awesome. Back to Little Big Planet. You've got an <laughs> enormous community. There are 9 million levels built. Yes. But how is the community of Little Big Planet manageable? I mean, I, could, I would guess it's like a small size, very very fanatical group of gamers who make the most extreme levels. I think what's great is that when I think of the Little Planet community, I think of everybody who plays the game. Because they engage with the level, like in a single player story, but also they play all the community created levels. I like to think of them as a really, really big, slightly dysfunctional family. Slightly dysfunctional? You're like their dysfunctional mom. Ah, that's boring. <laughs> so what do you what 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 is your job at the moment? So at the moment we're obviously we're really focused on getting the game out. We're making sure that lvp.me, our community portal, is fully functional and ready for launch and that has all the fantastic new features of like commenting, being able to customize your profile, being able to view videos of levels that people created. And also we're spending a lot of time really investing in video. So we're working with some great little kind of YouTubers to make like have them help us make videos, work with little kind of creators and have them help us with our assets and our levels of use and marketing tools. Because I think we like things to feel like they're by the community for the community. True. And it's kind of like a mantra that we live with. Like, would a community member enjoy this? If not, then let's find a way to make them happier. Yeah, but the, the levels uh, you guys create are also with the same interest. Absolutely, yeah. the guys at Sumo make everything the same way a community member would make it. It yeah. just has a lot more of them on it. <laughs> yeah, true. So, how do you make it easier for new people? How did you make it easier for new people to make levels? Because it was kind of high level. No, I think it was a little overwhelming before. I true. think it was like you went down, someone gave you a piece of paper and a pen and said, Make me something. Yeah. And no one helped. So, now we've got our pop it puzzles, which I can say properly. And they're like, it's not like a tutorial in the traditional sense where you feel like you're being told to do this and that. It's like a mini little adventure in itself where you're taught how to use the tools. So by the time you try and play it yourself, like, oh, I've done this before in, in these. We also have an easy mode and an advanced mode. So you get a slightly stripped down set of the tools. 
and then all you do is when you feel ready, you click advance, and then suddenly they're all there for you. I think it's important for us that people who are new to the franchise can like access it easily before, but people who know their stuff and may have been not beaten don't feel like they're going to dumb down option of the creative version. <coughs> Bless you. Good answer, Sarah. <laughs> So good you sneeze. <laughs> <laughs> I did sneeze, but we're gonna leave it in, I guess. Let's thank you for the bless you. Final question. Ready? You had a close bell. Yes. And how many people were there in there? I actually don't know the number to be honest. Um, we just me actually. I was the closest. The Sarah beta. <laughs> we extended it a little bit because um, we discovered that people when they first started, they mainly made levels like Swoop and Odd Sock, but after about a week, they went, oh, here's 16 layers. Here's all these great things I can do. And we, didn't, 16 layers now. we didn't want to stop them just so they got started with the, the layers and the PlayStation 4 kind of beautiful looking colors we had and the over 60 new tools they were playing with. So we extended it a little bit. We do finish tomorrow. Kind of a bit emotional seeing yeah. the last levels going up now. But we had a great selection of levels in yeah, what was just your, a few weeks. This was the last question. Was just a, the last question was, what is your most favorite beta level? Because, I mean, you should be amazing, I guess. But some people may. I think Castle Oddsock is my favorite. Castle Oddsock, what, what's the, the, the goal of the level? So essentially you go through a kind of little maze where you're doing... It's great because it, Oddsock's my favorite character. Because his new feature is like, oh, you fast, you can do wall jumps. And they're a fantastic element for creators to play with. Because they can do kind of endless wall jumping, yeah. wall jumping on angles. So you do all these great wall jumps, you're doing it really fast, and you bounce back through about eight layers to the parapet to the castle, and you're running along there, and you're bouncing back through another four layers. And it's just, it has all the things that are new with a brand new character. And it's, all, it's like super bright and colourful and lovely. And will that level be in the virtual game? It will, yes. Oh, awesome. So people can look up for Castle also. when it comes out uh, in November, end of November. Thank you very much, Sarah. No worries. Thanks so much. Good luck with the final. Thank you. No, for you, it just starts, I guess. Because yeah, this is the beginning yeah. for me. Yeah. Those guys are going to have a holiday, and I'm like, right, off I go to the office. Yes. <laughs> you have to, you know, answer all the emails. All the Twitter. Yeah, all the Twitter. Thank you very much, Sarah. Thanks. Cheers.